Big news. Now is the best time to get into Final Fantasy XIV on Mac. The game is now playable using DXMT. DXMT is a DirectX to Metal technology that is able to translate DirectX calls into Metal calls. In theory, this should help the game run a lot better than it has in the past. In this quick video, I'll show you how to download and install Final Fantasy XIV online with the community-made XIV on Mac launcher. I'll also show you how to run it with DXMT enabled. Let's check it out. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is go to FinalFantasyXIV.com. I'm going to choose my language, and then I'm going to go ahead and click Start Your Free Trial, Sign Up Now, and we're going to make our Square Enix account. So if you already have a Square Enix account, you can skip this step, but if not, scroll down, we're going to choose an email, we're going to choose a Square Enix ID, and we're going to choose a password. I love cats. Okay, uh, date of birth, we're going to choose a security question, choose our platform, and then accept the terms of agreement. Once you submit your information, you're going to get an eight-digit code sent to the email that you chose. Copy the code from your email, paste it into the web page, and submit it. Now that we have our Square Enix account set up, it's time to download the community-made Final Fantasy launcher. Go to your web browser and we're going to go to xivmac.com. Scroll down and download the beta. While it's downloading, let's check out the FAQ. So here it says, what are msync and dxmt? It says, these options included in later versions of XIV on Mac provide an additional performance boost. They can be found under the Advanced and Graphics tabs in Settings, respectively. XIV on Mac versions prior to 4.15 used DXVK, which required that DirectX instructions first be translated into Vulkan as an intermediary before finally being translated to Metal. Direct translation to Metal has much less overhead, bringing a boost to both performance and stability. DXMT also allows for specific features such as metal effects upscaling to be implemented. Once the download is finished, we're going to go to our downloads folder and we're going to double click XIV on Mac to unzip it. Once unzipped, we're going to drag our application into our applications folder. Then go to your applications folder and double click XIV on Mac to launch it. Once XIV on Mac is launched, type in your Square Enix ID and password. Select Auto Login, and before clicking Login, we can go to XIV on Mac in the menu bar, select Settings, go to Graphics, and we want DXMT, so we're going to check Use Direct Translation of D3D11 to Metal via DXMT, and I'm also going to enable Metal Effects Spatial Upscaling. Now that I have the settings I want, I'm going to log in. We want Launch Vanilla Game, we're using a Mac, and since we don't have the game installed yet, we want to download and install the game. So overall, I'm very impressed with how DXMT performs. We're running the game at its default graphics settings. The FPS HUD says we're in 4K, but the in-game resolution is set to 1080p. For the most part, the FPS is at a 60 or above. Some crowded areas dip down to about 50 FPS, but the game quickly recovers hitting 60 and higher in most areas. As far as stability goes, I haven't come across any crashes and the game feels native to Mac. So having quickly tested DXMT, I'm definitely hoping it will come to crossover eventually. It's still in its early stages, but having the option to use DXMT in Crossover would likely give a ton of games a huge boost in performance. Only time will tell, so keep your eyes peeled for more DXMT Mac news. Thanks for watching, and a big shout out to Jay Fishin for helping make this video.